What's going on, YouTube? All right. Um, so, I'm not sure if I made a previous video, but in this video, brand new Shelby GT350. And this is what happened. Uh, went out the other night to, do, to have some fun. Uh, doing a test hit with the car. Got up to some um, speeds I like not, I would like not to mention. But um, yeah, you know, doing some little test run before I get my brother, before I race my brother in his um, tuned 335i 2013, I think 2013 or 2014, 2013 tuned 335i versus the stock GT350. You know, just to have some fun. Um, so I did a quick test hit and like I said, I got, to, I got up to some some speed I would like not to mention so I'm going to jail speed and as I got off the gas I applied brakes I think I applied it pretty pretty hard this is I was testing the car out testing the brakes testing everything out um, I don't get to drive the car too often so when I do I try to make sure everything is functional right having fun with these big brimble brakes and stuff like that so anyway as I applied um, on the brakes I heard a crazy noise, like a pop, and I saw, I thought my tie went out, I thought the brakes went out, I, I just, it, it was just weird. Um, honestly, I thought the tire popped, but I felt no, no vibration in the steering wheel, and then the noise just wouldn't go away, so I pulled the car over, I'm like, fuck, this is a brand new car, what the hell? And, um, pulled the car over late, late night, man, um, and where I was is, you know, pretty dark, no street lights. And pulled over, walked around the car, checked the uh, tires, tires look fine, checked the brakes, brakes look fine. Um, pulled my cell phone out, turned my flashlight on, took another walk around the car, I'm like, what the hell is going on? So come to the front of the car and notice the front splitter is hanging off. Now, I just pulled this off and I've read a lot of stories on the form saying, you know, this from the factory sometimes is installed improperly. And to be honest with you, I pulled it off and I mean, everything looked like it was installed properly. I can't really tell. You know, when I first got the car, I did check it out. It looked fine to me. I didn't check to see if the screws is tight. And I mean, it's a brand new car. Who think that would, that would happen? Something like this would happen. So, let's turn the lip over. So you see, I mean, from the bottom, it looks horrendous. You know, all here is torn apart. And this is all because it was dragging. It's all because it was dragging. This is completely gone. And I checked all of this before and before I bought the car. And none of this, nothing like this was, was on the car. Uh, you can see there's no front, there's no front damage going all the way across there's no front damage so i didn't hit anything in the road so i don't know what the hell happened sorry for my ugly, my ugly toes i get my toes done um but yeah i didn't hit anything and i can't understand how something like this happened right. so this is my my project for the weekend i already ordered the lip the front splitter I ordered already from Ford it's supposed to be in by Wednesday um, this is fairly easy to come off my only thing is that I'm gonna have a problem if come underneath here one of the clips did break so let's see if I can get it underneath here so all the other clips thank God all the other clips are perfect all the other clips are perfect. This clip right here broke off. So I'm gonna figure a way to get that back on. Cause honestly, I don't want to change my whole bumper for one clip. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna think of something. Cause this clip is completely broken. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna think of something. Alright, so this is where I'm at now with my brand new GT350. Not even a month old. 
and this is happening. So, and and another thing, I don't even drive this car that often. I don't drive it. It has sat in the garage for a week because I was so busy with so much other things, I had no time to drive it. And, and I took it out to have some fun, and this is what happened. So, still love the car, I don't care. I still love the car, man. I don't care if Ford put it wrong, or they put it on the lip wrong. I don't give a rat's ass, I love this car, and it's not going anywhere. So, she's still a beauty sitting in here. Um, so that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, man.